Welcome to the Sekonic C700 SpectroMaster Quick Start Video Series. The quest for lighter, smaller, and more efficient light sources is creating new challenges in establishing color quality for Cine video production. Matching the same and different light sources and knowing how to mix LED, plasma, tungsten, and daylight are becoming today's need-to-know skills. Sekonic Corporation, a light measurement leader of over six decades, is proud to provide the measuring tool that will help you tame the lighting universe. The SpectroMaster C700. The new SpectroMaster C700 is a portable handheld spectrometer designed especially for cine, video, still photography use. Utilizing Sekonic's CMOS linear image sensor design and specially designed software, the C700 can measure and display the spectrum of every type of light source, including LED, HMI, fluorescent, natural light, and even the electronic flash, with remarkable precision, and display the data you need to know. In the videos that follow, we'll explore the many features of the C700, guide you through the basics of color management, and even show you a few advanced functions. Let's get started! In this first video, you'll learn how to get the C700 up and running and get a brief overview of its basic functions. First, let's take a quick tour of the Sekonic C700 body. Its user-friendly design has a measuring head that rotates 270 degrees and incorporates a CMOS linear sensor to measure light source color. The light selection ring around the measuring receptor has settings for dark calibration without a cap, normal ambient low power flash, and high power flash. Moving to the main body of the meter, you'll see the large 4.3-inch LCD color touchscreen that makes navigating through all major functions simple and intuitive. Just below the LCD screen is the menu button. Pressing it at any time instantly returns the meter to the display mode selection screen. The power button is located on the left side of the meter. Press it to turn the meter on or off. Directly below the power button is the memory button. Press it after taking a measurement to store all data about that light source. The C700 can store up to 99 measured values for recall and review later. On the opposite side is the measure button. Press it to measure the light source in front of the meter. At the bottom of the meter are two covered connectors. The first is a PC flash terminal for use with electronic studio strobes. The second is a mini B USB port to connect the C700 to a computer for firmware updates and use the application software. On the back of the C700 is a convenient quarter 20 threaded socket that allows mounting the meter for various applications. The battery compartment is just below the mounting socket. Let's install the batteries. Simply slide the battery door lock in the direction of the arrow and lift the battery cover on the back of the meter. Then insert the batteries. The C700 takes two AA batteries. Now let's power up the C700 for the first time. First, rotate the light selection ring to align the raised indicator with the dark calibration position. Then, press and hold the power button until the Sekonic logo and startup screen appears, which is followed by the dark calibration progress bar. The C700 is ready to use when the display mode selection screen appears. Normal startup is faster. You see this longer sequence after not using the meter for some time or after changing batteries. Turn the light selection ring off of Cal and onto one of the measuring settings. For most readings, you will be using the center position. The high range is used for measuring very bright studio flashes. Continuing our quick tour, let's take a look at the status bar at the top of the screen. The status bar appears at the top of most screens. It provides status feedback of battery capacity, memory count, 
digital or film display mode, preset selection, temperature fluctuation warning, light selection ring position, key lock status. Now, let's explore the display mode selection screen. Select the desired display mode by touching one of the display mode icons on the screen. There are nine different icons you can choose. Text, Spectrum, Spectrum Comparison, CRI, Camera Filter, Lighting Filter, Multi-Lights, White Balance Correction, Setting. Touch the text icon and the screen displays the text screen. Note the blue line that appears below the icon and display buttons. This line indicates that the type of information displayed in the area is selectable by you. We are just a few more settings away from our first measurement. To assure we get the data we need, we have to select the measuring mode and target color temperature. Touch the measuring mode icon to move to the selection screen where you can set the C700 to measure ambient light, flash without meter connection, flash connected to the meter, or radio triggering mode. Touch the ambient mode button to select it and return to the measuring screen. Now touch the target color temperature button to go to the setting screen. In digital mode, you can set the target from 2500 to 10,000 Kelvin. It's set at 5000 K now. Let's warm up the light a bit by selecting 4800 K. Then touch OK to lock in the target and return to the measuring screen. Right now, text mode screen is set to display color temperature, illuminance, color correction index, light balancing index, average of color rendering index number. As I said earlier, you can select whatever you want to display and even decide the order they are displayed. Simply touch the blue underlined button to go to the display mode library to make your selection. The first level deals with color temperature, filtration, and brightness. The second level lets you display color rendering index values. You will learn more about these in later videos, so let's use the present settings and take a measurement. Touch OK to return to the text mode screen. Now press the measure button to take a reading. You now know that the light being measured is 6313K and illumination is 1240 lux. The light balance and color correction indexes will show if there is a need for color correction to adjust the light to your target color temperature. The light has a color rendering index of 90.3. In the next and later videos, you will learn how to measure a single light source using the C700 spectrum display and check its color quality with the color rendering index. How to compare the color spectrum of three different lights to find the best pairing. How to read out industry standard filtration for balancing and color effect. How to compare and balance four different lights on a single screen and a few more setup tips that will make the C700 your favorite light measuring tool.